see if it works. How about that? Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, three. Mm -hmm. All right, let me see. Mic check, mic check. Uh, coming in. Oh, look at that. Back. Oh, good. You guys can hear me. Awesome. All right, so hello, everyone. My name is Dakeisha Williams, your virtual CEO. Oh, and um, I am excited uh, to talk to you for just a little bit. And I am not going to keep you long today. Um, I want to thank you all for joining me. So I have to pull this up on my phone. And um, because I can't see the comments on my computer. Anyway, what's up, y'all? How are you? Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, I can see some of the names that are coming up here. Hey, Trinette, how are you? So listen, um, here's what's interesting, right? There's no freaking title. And so, so today I want to spend some time and I want to talk a little bit about having an online course and how it can add to your bottom line. Now, I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet. Um, but comment, let me know who's on here with me. I cannot see everybody that's on here, but um, shout out to all of you all that are joining me. And uh, be sure to stay tuned. We got a lot of great things that are coming. And normally I try to like shout y'all out and say hello, but I'm testing. So um, I can't see you all, but what's up? All right, so let's talk a little bit. Um, and so if you have an online course, an e-course, um, do me a favor and I want you to comment below if you do have any type of, what's up? If you do have an e-commerce, not e-commerce, an e-course or a online course, right? It doesn't have to be already developed. It could be something that you're working on. And if you already have one or have an idea of something that you want to put together, Comment below and let me know, like, hey, Dakeisha, I got something that I'm cooking up, I'm working on. And it's funny because this actual topic came to me today from a conversation with a colleague. How about that? I got some thumbs up. I saw that. All right. Um, <laughs> Hey, Specity. All right. Let me go ahead and say Happy New Year, everybody. This is probably going to be edited out of the final video, but I'm going to go ahead and say happy new year, you guys. I love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for joining. All right. So one of the things that happened today is um, um, I got a phone call from a friend of mine that's in the space and uh, this is not the first person that has actually um, had the same feeling. And so oftentimes we as implementers or service based providers, okay? So we actually have a service that we provide to our clients, whether it's implementation, um, it could be a full service, uh, Facebook, digital marketing, uh, product launch, right? Where we are doing 90 to 95 percent of the implementation for our clients and so what i am finding is that it is difficult to scale your business beyond a certain point when all of the activity 90 percent of implementation is whose responsibility it's our responsibility so your business is only going to grow, but so far, if the business is 95% reliant upon you and your input into the business. Anybody feeling me on this one? And so the conversations that I've been having is, okay, well, how can I scale my business without working harder than what I've done? over the past 12 to 18 months, right? And trust and believe, I asked myself the same question. And before I get into this really quickly, um, for those of you guys that have never participated in any of my training, you might be new to me. Um, again, my name is Dakeisha Williams, your virtual COO, better known as the webinar queen, um, helping entrepreneurs to build their tribe, build their list, and make money on 
line. I literally started in this space because I've got two kids. How many kids? I got two kids um, that are heavily active in sports. And so it all started because my daughter says to me, mommy, do you know that you missed the first week of school? Let me say that again. Mommy, do you know that you missed the first week of school? You guys know there's only two times out of the year that kids like school. And that's what? It's the first week of school and the last week of school. Thanks for the hearts. I appreciate it. And so that's literally how I, I, I was able to get started. August 24th, 2011, I went on leave of absence and I'm still on leave of absence. I want you to type hashtag longest leave ever. Longest leave ever. And so that is how I started in this space. And it was literally because I wanted to find something where I would be um, able to be present for my children. I needed something that would allow me to be um, available and present for my children, right? Um, both of them, are, yes, hashtag longest leave ever. Both of them are very still active in in sports, uh, whether it's basketball, gymnastics, football, you name it. You guys know that I'm always at some type of sports activity. Like I spent my birthday at the football field in the rain, might I add, in the rain, okay? And so that brings me to the point of there are a lot of people out here that are heavily, their, their revenue is heavily reliant upon their actual implementation or their activity in their business, right? And you oftentimes, you hear people say, well, in order to scale your business, in order to grow your business, you got to replace yourself, right? And you do. And so one of the first things that I find that we do in order to scale our business is we build a digital product. We create an online information-based product that actually can sell itself. Because it helps your prospect to solve a problem. So um, the title is how to, well, having an online course and how it adds to your bottom line. All right. And so number one, having an online course or an e-course, which is growing to be a $300 billion industry, y'all. Somebody type that in the comments below. A $300 billion industry. Crazy, right? But it allows you to free up your time um, so that you can live the life that you deserve. And one of the things that you know I truly believe is that each of us, we started a business for a particular reason. And I love for you to share, right? Um, I love for you to share why you got started on this path. Um, I've, I've just, I've already shared with you why I decided to do this journey. Um, but when we create digital products and what it does is it allows people to learn from you, but it doesn't require you to be there, right? It doesn't necessarily, like I, I ha I've had several products over the past, four or five years, right? And so um, people have bought marketing programs from me. They have bought the Webinar Success Blueprint from me. Um, now, if I'm doing the Webinar Success Blueprint live, then it requires me to be there. Um, but we've had specials where we've actually sold the program as a do-it-yourself. And I didn't need to be present for that. And they took the recordings, they took the training, and they were they, they did it themselves and they taught themselves what they needed to know and what they needed to implement in their business. Is this making sense for you guys? Like, give me an emoji, right? I can't give you fireworks today because I'm on my I'm on the broadcast. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so number one, it helps to free up your time so that you can really be and be able to focus on your zone of genius. Um, I see some of you guys that are joining me today, like we have the six figure uh, salonpreneur. And so even though she's phenomenal behind the chair, she has so much information that she can share to help other stylists become a six figure salonpreneur, right? We have individuals on here that are very knowledgeable about how to live a healthy lifestyle. And you can only work with so many people one-on-one, -on -one, 
right? And so it having this e-course, having these digital products helps Trinette to reach so many other people who are suffering in silence with diabetes, right? Um, having people like Dr. Doctor allows uh, her to be able to not only run an academic center, a facility, but also help bring together couples, right? Based on the communication. I love it. Okay. And so that's number one. So number two, what did it, this is my favorite word beside the word profit. So number two, um, having an online course helps you create predictable income. Somebody say predictable income. I want you to type predictable income. Some of you may have heard it as recurring revenue or uh, passive income, right? It's passive income because it's income that you're generating when you're not actually um, engaging with the actual person, okay? So, but I like to say, oh, it, it's, it's predictable income, right? Um, so this is income if you have people that are, are signed up for your course. Let's just say you charge $997. I know some of y'all like, oh, Yes, dude, you can charge $997 for your course. I said it, yes, you can. All right? Now, let's just say you charge $997. Well, everyone's not going to pay in full. I remember I remember one time I had like, um, it was like 60% of the class, um, they paid in full. And at that time, I was like, yeah, what up? You know, they paying in full, woohoo. And then... You know, the next month when I'm so used to the monthly payments coming in, I was like, my PayPal ain't blinking like it used to, right? So that predictable income disappeared, right? And so that's one of the questions that some of my students have is, can I offer a payment plan? So let's just say you offer a payment plan for $297 a month, right? Well, if 10 people sign up for your program, you know that you're going to get 10 payments for $297 for the next four to six months, whatever. However, you structure your predictable income. How many of you could use $2,970? I like math, so I be knowing my math, y'all. I know my math. $2,970. How many of you under the sound of my voice could use an extra $3,000 a month in your business? That's just 10 people. Okay, so it creates predictable income. I said I wasn't going to be on here long, all right? Um, number three is, you know, it allows you to have little to no effort um, on your part. Now, that is, and I, talk, I talked about this a little bit earlier, that's based on what's included in your e-course, okay? So you might have an e-course that you do a training like, um, you might show up every two weeks. You might show, I see some hands going up that they could use an additional $3,000 a month, right? I can too. <laughs> I can use an additional, it doesn't matter. I can use additional 3,000, 10,000, 1,000. I don't care. Um, long as our numbers go up and they stay there. All right. Anyway, um, y'all don't laugh at me, but yeah, so you can have a program, you know, it's sad when you laugh at yourself. You can have a program where you do live training or live Q&A, right? And so that's what? Six-week program, six hours of your time. You get paid $1,000 per person. Like, that's not a pretty bad, you know, um, program to offer. And especially if you know that you can provide the results in this particular program. And that's one of the things that I actually love about, like, even the Webinar Success Blueprint program my Get Ish Done coaching program, one of the things that I truly love is that I know without a shadow of doubt, if they implement what I tell them to implement, they gonna make some money, right? Um, you guys may have been on here the other day when one of my former students, Lyman Montgomery, has generated over $150,000 just by implementing some of the systems and the processes that I've taught over the last eight and a half, nine years. So just to review really quickly, and if you guys have any questions, please post your questions below. I am always checking back in my comments, okay? Number one, having an online course allows you to live the life that you deserve. 
It does. It truly allows you to live the life that you deserve. Number two, um, it creates predictable income. So if you are just joining or you're just tuning in, make sure you rewind this one. Start this one from the beginning because I think it's very important as we start the new quarter um, that we are looking at how can you create predictable income in your business, all right? And then the last piece is being able to create uh, a product or service in your business that requires little to no effort on your part. Like, how can I make more money and don't have to work as hard or twice as hard, right? And that was a conversation that I had earlier today. And this particular um, individual had did very well in, in their business, um, just offer service based. And so um, imagine being able to create six figures um, off of a digital program. Um, you guys remember, I tell you all the time that one program will change your life if you let it, right? One program will change your life if you let it, all right? And so um, I just wanted to come on with you really quickly and to share those three things. But listen, if you are truly serious about um, having your first five-figure launch, I want you to, um, the link should be, um, oh, wait. Hold on, y'all. The link should be uh, on your screen. There we go. So if you're really serious about, you know, um, generating or having your first five-figure launch, I, I guess I should say, is I want you guys to join me in, um, y'all see me playing with this stuff? <laughs> anyway, I want you to join me over at ProfitProducerMovement.com, ProfitProducerMovement.com. And um, this is where we have some of our conversations in regards to um, generating five figures, your first five figure launch. Um, I get so excited when my students come into the class and, you know, they, they have their first $10,000 launch. And so um, if you're struggling with cash flow, I have a strategy that's pinned to the comment section or the announcement section in this group. So all you have to do is go over and knock on the door at www.profitproducermovement.com. And uh, we will definitely love to let you in. And um, any questions that you have about, you know, five-figure launches, whatever it is, ask away. There's a lot of questions that are coming up online around product launches, using webinars to launch um, digitally and from the comfort of your own home. All right, so cool. So my name is Dakeisha Williams, your virtual COO. Be passionate, be purposeful, but more importantly, be profitable. I'll see you guys next time.